Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, in this video, once I get started, it will be all about sliding the axles. There's a few different uh, mechanisms that we're going to be dealing with, and uh, we're going to jump into that. Now, before we jump into it, I would like to talk to you again or remind you, um, for those of you who don't make it to the end of a lot of my videos, there is a Facebook group that I have, and it's uh, if you click on the link in the description below, it'll send you right to it. And it's just basically, uh, I try to do daily tips, uh, have conversations with uh, with drivers or whatever, whoever who have pro who are struggling, or if you have a, a question that you may think is stupid, and then we can discuss it. And uh, chances are, there's lots of if it's if it's something you don't know that maybe other trainers or schools didn't uh, jump into, or they jumped into it and you didn't understand it. Whatever. All right. Uh, it's just a, a safe place for you guys to. Uh, to ask questions and discuss. So uh, I keep getting asked about my mobile game by a lot of people and it is not ready yet. I actually don't know when it's going to be ready. He says as soon as possible. But the more importantly is that the game is perfect and all the mechanics and the physics are perfect. And he just gave me a demo of, uh, of the game. Well, and one map just so I can test on. And it seems that everything's fine. Uh, it, it turns the exact same way I wanted to turn and it's looking good. Uh, as well, uh, well, of course, a lot of my energy is going into this, so that's why you're getting a lot less videos uh, coming your way. I'm not doing a lot of backing videos, and a lot of people are requesting certain videos that I've already done. I have go go to my go to my uh, what's it called? Go to my website, and there's a lot of videos there. There's even a lot of videos actually um, that I haven't posted on YouTube that are on there. So by all means, please go there. Um, as well, I am hoping for this game to be in every single school, and I will be talking to schools. So I get the exact, I suppose, dimensions or whatever, you know. Uh, there'll definitely be uh, like smaller trailers being used or bigger trailers or spread axles. So, you know, I will try to make it my best so everybody is happy, at least, at least the schools. And uh, it will help people out. But anywho, let's, well, let's get on with this video. <laughs> So sliding your axles is going to be one of the most common activities, common tasks that you're going to do as a truck driver. Um, because a lot of docks are going to require you to have your axles all the way back when you uh, back up to the dock. Um, now, one of the things when you are backing up to a dock with your axles all the way back is, uh, especially if your handle is out and the pins are in, every time you touch the brake, especially with an empty trailer, your, your, your brakes are going to... Uh, well, they're going to be applied and you're still going to keep backing up and it's going to slide your axles forward again. So just be aware of that. So when you do slide your axles all the way back, that they're still all the way back once you've backed up to the dock. All right. Um, another one is that uh, always make sure that your pins are actually uh, out when it's time to start driving on the road again, because there's, been, there's definitely been a lot of accidents out there where people are forgetting to do that. And... Uh, a lot of the time, even when you're going five miles an hour, and if you hit the brakes, when your axles are all the way to the forward, uh, they will fly all the way to the back, making a loud noise, and it kind of feels like someone's just rear-ended you. And it sucks. Um, definitely it has happened in my earlier days where I forgot. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, definitely learned my lesson. Now, you're definitely gonna have to slide your axles when it comes to uh, adjusting your weights. So that's there's another reason. It's just one of those things you're going to have to do on a daily basis. And it just sucks when you don't know how to do it properly. And your goal is to kind of well, do the least amount of work, but the same outcome but and the same safety. But anywho. All right, uh, let's get to it. So when you are sliding your axles back and forward, it is a good idea to do it slowly. All right, because the harder you do it, the more damage that you are going to do to the stopping mechanism here and back here. So. And it is a good idea as well to do it nice and slowly because of the product inside. The, because it coming to an abrupt stop will actually uh, tip the pallets over. You know, and another little bit of advice is if you're sliding your axles, let's say you're after getting on, you're after getting loaded and you pull out of the dock and then you slide your axles. Well, if you are going to do that, uh, make sure you do it extra slow 
or at least close the doors because uh, this has definitely, definitely have been a time or two where uh, I might have backed up a little bit too quickly and the product kind of started tilting out a little bit. But anyway, lesson learned uh, at the start of my career. But now, we do not want to go this fast. This is going to be a, a little bit faster than it should go. Uh, just to kind of show you guys how, <coughs> what not to do. You can kind of hear the louder the noise, the, the, the harder the impact. And especially, now I'm going to be going a little bit more quicker, uh, sliding the axles back here, and you're going to see the tires skid and everything. Just, just try not to do this, guys. Uh, I, see it, I see it all the time. Um, it's just, hey, obviously it's not good. Just do it, do it slow. All right. Anywho, that being said, now we are going to jump into the actual mechanics of how to get the pins in. So this is the, one of the most common ways of getting those pins in, so you can slide your axles, is that we're going to pull this handle out. And now this particular handle is spring-loaded, meaning once we pull it out and we uh, set it down into the little groove here, so it will stay out uh, when, the, when this pin is not binded up against the side, it will actually go out. Now there's going to be four pins, one on either side, one opposite side of this one, and then a few more down. But we're just going to be looking at the one here. Now I'm going to be uh, pulling this out, and I uh, it is firmly and it's not coming in. So right here now I'm going to be uh yeah. See, I'm tr I'm actually trying to pull forward right now, and as you can see, because I'm trying to slide the axis all the way to the rear. So in order to do that, you got to drive forward. Now I can s I know that it's not going to work because I can see that the pins are out. The best thing to do. Uh, is actually put it into reverse first, all right? Then you, you, you'll hear a loud little, uh, a loud bang or whatever you want to hear it when the pins are actually going in. Or you can try going forward and um, then relief, uh, release the uh, throttle or uh, put the clutch down really quickly. It kind of will shake the trailer, allowing the, p the pins to go in. There we go. And now I'm gonna go forward. See that time I think I put it into reverse. So maybe you go a little bit slower than this. As you can see, that was kind of hard. And so now, once you have stopped, all you have to do is just lift that handle up. They do not need to line up. They do not need to line up at all. All we have to do is drive forward or backwards, and the springs will actually push the pins out. And uh, there we go. Now we can uh, back up to the dock, or we can uh, do whatever we need to do. So, now here's the other one. This is my favorite. This is everyone's favorite because this has, preventing, uh, has prevented a lot of shoulders from being injured. Now, all we have to do is pull this out, as shown by my... Oh, that's so... Okay, I probably zoomed in a bit too much. But anyway, all you have to do is pull it out. And what's happening there is the exact same thing as happened in the last part where you're pulling the handle out. It is trying to come out. Now... As you can see from here, the pin is out and it's not in. Uh, same, it's the same reason, is that the, the side of the pin is, is pressed up against the side of the hole. And uh, now it's released. Now, maybe not all of them have been released. I know this one has been released and I do believe there maybe one or two have not. So I'm gonna try uh, drive forward. As you can see, the, the tires are dragging. Now I'm gonna relieve, release our, the uh, accelerator and it's gonna shake a little bit. There we go and now it's all free. So don't try too hard to slide the axles. If, if, if you feel like it's not going, well, it means that you need to go in the opposite direction first to relieve the pin. Okay, now the pin has come out and the, uh, this little part that we pulled out has gone in because we have applied air to the trailer, meaning I have pushed in the red valve, the trailer air supply in the, on the dash all right, so, so it's kind of a, a safety feature, which is absolutely brilliant. It means that no longer will any, but will you ever forget to actually, uh, well, if this before this, if lift the handle, because lots of people have actually forgotten to uh, to check the pins to make sure that they, the handle is actually pushed back in again. Here, when you uh, because you can't drive without the trailer air supply pulled in, so it's just a it's a nice little safety feature. So it's automatically going to. Uh, Put, put the pins out, all right? But it, it is a good idea to, uh, to rock the trailer back and forth, like you will see here in a second. 
just to make sure. And then we always do a visual check. Seriously, you really always want to do a vis visual check. Now, here we're going to do it again. And I have zoomed in a little bit on this. This is the same video, by the way. All right, so we just pull it out. It makes a nice sound. I'm going to put it into reverse, obviously. And they are not released. But, I, but I not, I'm not, not going to try too hard. And you're going to hear in, hear in a second now some loud noise of the rest of the pins going in. There we go. And now we reverse again. Now, this was manually pushing it in, which is unnecessary, because again, all we have to do is push in the trailer air supply, and that will put the actual pins out. Now, this one is out, but that doesn't mean that the rest of them are. So it's a good idea to visually check them all. Now, all those little uh, noises was the pins going in, and of course, this pin did not go in. And it's just going to take a simple little... Uh, uh, a rock of the trailer or relieving the pressure against the side wall here. So here is an example of one of the older trailers that has been uh, worn out. The little, sorry, like a lot of times you need you need a helping hand from somebody else to push this out. But as you can see here now, right? Let's see if I can get the angle. Let me just rewind for a second. This part here, or this part here has been worn down. All right, you're going to see this a lot in a lot, a lot of the older trailers, so there's no way of actually keeping it out by itself. So, one of the most common used tools that you can get is vice grips. It is, this is probably like the one tool that I only had for like a year. I didn't need any other tool except for this particular tool. So, you just clamp it on there. And there we go. Now, this, uh, as you can see, the pins are out and we need them in. Again, they're spring-loaded. They won't go in until the binding on against the side of the hole. All right. So now it's good to uh, slide the axles all the way to the rear. Now, I went in reverse there just to make sure that the rest of them were unbinded. And go nice and slowly, especially towards the end of it. That was pretty good. I like that. Now, for this particular part here, right, this is just kind of a more of a preventing your ears from hurting. All right, because you're inside here in a kind of enclosed space, when you do relief, release, or relief, the whatever, the uh, the vice grips, it does fly in, making a really loud, loud noise. So maybe don't do that. Maybe do this instead, which... I just got empty. And, uh, so now we're going to be uh, kind of slowly doing it. My, I keep my hand on the handle, and then I get out, and then I let go. Now, of course, the pins are not out, so we're going to go ahead and drive forward. And of course, we always will do a visual. All right, so before I get into this, this was not the best. I just... This is probably one of the b biggest headaches you're going to have as a new driver is when you have an old trailer and the pins won't come out. Now, this handle is not spring-loaded at all, and it really sucks. So your, your goal is to unbind, <laughs> unbind this side here. Now, I'm gonna, I think this actually took me like maybe five to ten minutes to do, and of course, I, I edited all the boring parts of me walking to the truck and walking back, and uh, it just sucks. So... Instead of dealing with this by yourself, if you see somebody around, uh, maybe ask for their help. And don't worry, they probably already helped out somebody we already to do this. But anywho, so just to clarify, it's not this particular pin that is binded up, it's the other pins, but you can definitely tell which side I need to go. I, so I need to go in reverse here, just to get the, hopefully get this out there. And a lot of the times what you're gonna do, you're, you're trying to shake. You're just trying to shake it so it bounces back and forth, and then maybe it will actually go in. I think uh, it takes me like five or six times. Now, this is a, a loaded trailer, I believe. Oh. See, you only got like a little fraction. All I want to do is just get a little bit. Now, I'll actually start to go a little slowly here, and I wish I would have stopped. It is actually a lot easier. Now, I'm in an automatic. And it seems, it's, ever since I got into the automatic, I found these a lot harder to do. 
because I wasn't able to control the distance because sometimes I, I just couldn't feel that I was only going one sixteenth of an inch. And that's all I wanted to do. As, as you can see there, let me rewind for a second. Like this is where I needed it to be. All right, but I kept going. <laughs> and that's definitely pressed up against the side. And it's just kind of tough when you're uh, only trying to go just a little bit. And there we go, Eureka. Now, as you can see, this didn't fit in, but it still held it out. And that's all I needed to do, okay? So now I'm able to slide. And there we go, that's what, uh, that's what this looks like when it's all stretched out. And let's go in the opposite direction again. So that's all the way back. Didn't need to go all the way back. Let's go ahead and uh, put a little more forward again. Because I knew I needed to get, I knew I needed to see the handle. So I lifted it up. And now we're just sliding him to get the pins out. And voila. And it's always a good idea to kind of like keep, keep giving it a little bit of a shake. Just to make sure those pins are all the way out. And always do a visual.